Hey folks, Reloading Bench back with you again. This was an unexpected video that I thought I would make just because of how things have transpired. A couple years ago, I had noticed that a company called Blink had put out what I thought was a pretty cool wireless and uh, battery operated security camera for the home. And uh, at the time they just had indoor models and my biggest concern was battery life because I think it's great to be able to position a small camera wherever you want without having to worry about wires but then there's always the concern of uh, longevity of that battery and initially when Blink first came out with their indoor models they had uh, stated that the battery life was about a year I thought not too bad I just didn't know how realistic that was. Well, I thought I'll wait for the outdoor camera because I wanted something for the front of the house. They finally came out with one last year and at the same time they said improve battery life to two years. So I thought, okay, that sounds like a winner. Let me give it a shot. So I ordered it. It was essentially a Christmas gift and right after the Christmas holidays before the first of the year, I installed it. And uh, let's see if I remember how to uh, open it up. And one of my first questions was, gee, I wonder what kind of uh, battery this thing was going to come with. It was, if it was going to, and it's tight because of the uh, weatherproofing seals. And my first thought was, yeah, I wonder what kind of battery, what cool battery technology was going to, uh, to come with this. And lo and behold, it was just essentially some Energizer Ultimate Lithiums. And I thought they would have some cool rechargeable technology and nope just plain old energizers so I threw them in there and uh, away we went expecting not to touch these batteries for two years so the other night I went to do a live view because I wanted to remember if I locked up the car and I was upstairs so I thought let me just uh, get on my app and look at the uh, the truck and I got this camera busy signal um, and then I noticed that the little icon for the battery was red and it indicated needed replacing. So here we are, the third week of January, with, the, I had a two mode, uh, excuse me, two node uh, configuration. So both of them are dead batteries. And they were in the front of the house and they were all set to the default value. So I didn't really tweak anything. And I went to double check today because three weeks is a little shy of two years. I was even thinking six months would be wonderful. Uh, a year would be great, two years would be phenomenal. But uh, three weeks is uh, kind of sucky. So I uh, ran down to the store, picked up my $12 worth of batteries. So two, four, six, eight dollar and some change per battery. And... Uh, sure I don't mix them with the old. Uh, what I think I'll do is write uh, today's date on one of these somewhere. Uh, today is, gee, I don't even know what today is. Uh, Friday was the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, I think it's the 19th-ish. So, 1, 19, 17. Good enough to give me an idea of uh, actually how long this will last. So I jumped out to uh, Blink's website um, to look at these specs and the posted specs are, are not even for the XT, they're for the original module. So the original indoor module um, for two years they define as an event, 10 events five second video so essentially 50 seconds worth of video a day will give that uh, the the two-year lifespan so these cameras being in front of the house are catching you know everything every event somebody walks by postman comes by car drives by just because of how I have them set I mean it's a it's a wide-angle lens so it's gonna catch a lot of stuff otherwise it's just gonna look at the pavement to get it down to the 10 events uh, per day so I'm more than moderately disappointed in uh, in the lifespan of uh, of these particular uh, batteries. So to uh, to quote two years, 
again, overly optimistic, but uh, what it's coming in at of uh, essentially three weeks is uh, quite a bummer. I got my blue light, so everything's working again. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed for the uh, 300 bucks ish. I think it was when you look at uh, the two modules, the uh, the sync module, shipping, and uh, and I think there was a, a Christmas sale, so it was under 300 bucks, 250, 250 and some change between 250, 250 300. Um, really disappointed because I thought. Um, they were going to be something that would uh, give me um, what I was looking for in terms of flexibility, no wires, and uh, not having to deal with batteries. So at this rate, uh, with the default settings, which I'll now tweak with my Energizer Ultimate Lithium, I'm looking at approximately three weeks with the default settings uh, in front of the house, and that uh, that's a bust for me. So um, I just saw that Ring has a, uh, a comparable product. They, they offer both in wired and battery, and uh, I think I'll be looking at that because uh, um, three weeks means I'm looking at 18 battery changes. Um, 18 times 2 is 36. This is 12 bucks for 8, so 4. I'm looking at $50, $25 in batteries per unit per year at this rate. So uh, moderately disappointed, must say.